Hi lovely people, so we are back on site and the last time we we're here, Chief, you you recall that the last time that we we're here, um, you were clearing the, the site, we we're clearing this land. Um, today we are seeing some development. Um, I'd like for you to take us through what's, what's going on, what's all these um, trenches that we are seeing, what's happening? I love the fact that you are using the right term, trenches. Somebody yes. will say pits and holes. Ah. And these are trenches. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm working with experts, <laughs> professionals. <laughs> so the, the, the last time you were here, we were doing clearing of sites, uh, okay. clearing vegetable top soil. Okay. And I explained Vegetable that. top soil. Exactly. So if you look right behind us, you can see greens over here. Okay. And what happens is that the, the greens are not good for building. Okay. So we clear all those parts off mm -hmm. so that we are able to see exactly the, the real earth because that's what we are dealing with. Okay. So we did the clearing. After okay. the clearing, what we, we did was a setting out. Okay. And setting out has done such that in, I saw some videos that you have done. Mm -hmm. What happens is that you can see that uh, right here is where the plot is. That's one of the the plot, um, okay. the ends there. Okay, for the place. There's another one also at the end there. Okay. So what we ha we have done here is to put what is on paper onto the ground. Just before you move on, if I may ask, so the plot starts here. Yes. But then the trenches, the digging or the excavation, whatever has gone on, is here. Yes. Explain to me why it's not starting from that point, but then it's starting like within the boundaries right. of the of the pillar. So I will not just speak technical. I will tell you we have building codes. Okay. Now the building regulations code states that we shouldn't build on the fence wall. Okay. You must be able to have access all around your building. Okay. So in fact, the architects in their in their wisdom, they always leave a buffer between the fence wall and the building for us to be able to use. Okay. So in fact, we followed exactly the same. And what is happening is that over here, the client actually got two plots. There's right. this one I was just about and the to one ask about the there. There. yes. But he wants to build on one for now. Okay. And what is happening is that he has a studio. So this is a studio that he's going okay. to. Okay. And our client sings very well. Oh, So this nice. is where he's going to do all his uh, practice and production, all his production and everything. everything. Okay. And that's the main building. Okay. And now the access point will be at the front here. Okay. So where the board is, where you can see the two, one, yeah, two, three. Yeah, numbers. Now oh, you okay. see that the 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 uh, fence wall itself is a bit behind. So we have yes. a huge spot or a huge space over there. Okay. That's going to be their car park. Okay. So he drives in through that side onto okay. their car park. So what we have done first is called setting out. Okay. Setting out. So you can see some nails over here. Yes. So the boards. This is the foundation. Okay. This is the block work. Okay. That's what we have done. So that's what is running through between here and that end. Okay. Again, what we do is that you can see another one here. Once we are done with this, we mark for the uh, the part foundation itself. Okay. So when we say part, let me explain. You see, as you're standing here, uh -huh. this serves as your part. Yes. In the wisdom of God, He created parts for us to be able to walk. Uh -huh. Hence, if you if this part of your leg is cut off, it's very difficult for you to be able to have balance. Yes. So the building needs to have some balance. Okay. The balance is the part that is created. Okay. Now, after the part, God knows why he created here. Mm -hmm. He created here. The joints. He created all the joints. Right. So we are able to move. It's the yes. same thing with building. Okay. So what we are doing now is starting from the part okay. to this point. Okay. Then we start building. So everything is like, in, in, they are connected. Exactly. One point to the other point. Exactly. All connected to exactly. make the building stand fair. Exactly. Right. right. So we are done with the trenches. Okay. We are done with even the, the parts. We are even done, done with the tying of the rods. You are going to see the setup pillars and then the base mats. We have done all of that. You are going to see it right now. And then what is going to happen is that we are going to do the setting of all of them. Okay. And it's supposed to be as straight as possible. We will draw all the lines, make sure everything is set. Then we do our foundation concrete. I want to ask a question. As so far as I'm concerned, I know there are different types of foundation. Why are you going for this particular foundation for this type of structure? Uh, this is the ordinary strip foundation. Okay. It is because of the nature, sorry, the type of building that you are going to do. Uh -huh. So what we are doing is ground, fl ground floor, first floor uh -huh. with a penthouse. That's all. Okay. Now, with this particular one, what we are going to do as a double layer is to have what we call the ground beam, of which we are going to show you very soon as we are progressing. Okay. So we, the foundation that the architects, after the soil test and everything, what they prescribe for us is to be able to go for 
the ordinary strip foundation. foundation. Yes. Okay, so that's so, awesome. so we always test. We always are able to know the soil layers. You see the layers that we have here? Mm -hmm. so these soil layers, they are very good. It's able to carry any weight at all, any weight of building that you want to have here. It's very good for building. All right. So we look at all those things. Where you have a made-up ground, if I say made-up ground, later on I'll be explaining. That's look at the material over there with all the rubber in it. They are all made-up grounds. Okay. We will definitely have to perhaps go for the raft foundation. Uh, for our bridges, we go for the pile and beam. We'll be explaining all those things with time foundations. We'll take exclusively explain what type of foundation we employ at what areas okay. and why we are even doing that but for okay. here with the type of building that we are going to build the ordinary strip foundation is okay okay so i know we uh, at our economic state we do the soil testing as well absolutely right? now my question is if you pick this plot yes and you do the soil testing for this plot yes the reports that you get yes does it go for every plot here because they are all on the same site or for the next plot, you will have to do another soil testing? Thank you very much for that question. So with this particular one, we did a soil testing for here and there. Okay. Because it is two plots. So we need to be able to do it for them. And it is not transferable. Okay. Now, there are things that happens under the earth. We have what they call settlement and all. all right. And all those things contribute. So I can tell you, the soil layers you are seeing here mm -hmm. might not be the same right after here. Okay. There can be variations. Okay. So usually when we come and we are doing soil tests, we pick the particular area. So this one like this, the soil test that we did, it was from his friend's wall, that fence wall, we did it within big portions and then we were able to come up with our soil test. Okay. Yes. Okay. So basically what is happening now, uh, conclusively is foundation yes. works. Yes. Right. And we'll see the subsequent progress. Absolutely. Later. All right. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so much for the in-depth knowledge. Guys, you've, you've heard it for yourself. You know, when it comes to construction, we have the professionals. We have the experts. We we give you the details. So we have engineer Desmond here and his able team. Just reach out to us. You are, you can be assured of the best of services, the highest of standards, the highest quality when it comes to your building services. So the numbers will be rolling on your screens. Our contact details, our emails. Just get in touch with Royal Kingdom Estate and you would never regret doing business with us. Thank you and stay tuned. We'll bring you more updates, not just this unit because you have so many projects on our various sites. So we'll bring you updates subsequently and I hope you'll be confident enough to do business with us. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.